Hi, hello, this is Dorival here. Today, I will show you how to create a Oracle database on Amazon AWS. So, let's get started. To start RDS using RDS service, you can go in AWS console, it is in the, the home page. From AWS, you go to database and click on RDS. On RDS, you go to Instance on the left side, click on Instance. Then you click on Create Database. So I choose the Oracle Database here and uh, I will use, uh, for this test, I will use the Enterprise Edition and, but I will use it only to personal use so, for personal use, I don't have to care about the license and there are one more thing here uh, I only want to use the free tire uh, options so I will click here so uh, you will not uh, choose by mistake choose some some more expensive database because I we are only to make some tests. Click on next. There is some parameter here for the database. The license. The there is one, only one option, but it is the best option when it, you use it for personal use, you don't have it to, to pay for the license and, and the version of the database let's choose the Oracle 11 I want to use Oracle 11 here and the, the instance of the machine as we are using only free tire you have only one option if you use it, if you are using not the free tire, will be more powerful machine here, but uh, only have some tests. And let's uh, name our instance here. One, the name or could be. The name will be or or db one, and the, let's create our master username. We need to create. So this is dba. Let's confirm our password. Click on next, and there is some more parameters here: network, advanced sets. We are not to create. A, we are not to change the the full parameter here. We want to our database to be public, because uh, I want to access uh, outside of the Amazon. Uh, I would like to create the VPC. That is the database name. I will let it as it is. The part I will not change the part, and uh, the the V parameter I will not change. It. Not the uh, share set name, and the the big cap cap. Uh, I will let it default is how many days Oracle will keep it the copy of the backup and I will not uh, use the enhanced monitor but uh, when you have uh, some production database you want to monitor you want, you want to trace your logs so you can change the this option here and uh, here in maintenance we are not changing no 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 option here and the election protection, the election protection, uh, 
protection is when you you delete your database by mistake and Amazon will not permit you to delete the instance. I will not uh, check this here because this is only a test database. So I will create the database. Click on create database. So uh, Amazon will is creating the instance for you. You click on instance, click on instance, and here is our Aura DB instance. It will take some time to get read for using. But to test our database, I will show you uh, the preview database I created here. Let's see how to connect to that database. So uh, I have a, uh, a connection ID here. Is the SQL developer? Uh, I will create a connection. This connection will be Saturday instance AWS. Let's see the instance you, is, you just create is not too right. So you are going to connect to connect to the, the second instance that they I have already created. Let's see. One thing uh, we have to copy here is the endpoint, the instance endpoint. So I have this endpoint. You can copy the endpoint and paste here on host name. The part, the part, the part is okay. In the SID, the SID name, let's take here the SID. So let's copy the SID here, or CL, CL, and the username we just created. Let's take the username here. Please the BA and our password. Let's test it here. So we can connect to our database.